stick to your guns. Dog on it, know what you want, and don't cave in. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy. You know why many of you don't get the car deal you want? You get talked out of it. They wore you down. They waited you out. You can't let a car dealer do that to you. Stick to your guns. Do your research so you know what the car is worth. Talk to your bank so you know what you qualify for. Write out what your car deal is going to look like and then stay on it. Don't give up. The dealer does not have people lined up outside the door waiting to buy the car that you're looking at. Besides, there are hundreds like the car you want. Any car buyer with patience and a spine always wins. Don't give up. Stand tall on the deal you're after. Let me give you a couple examples. Matthew writes, bought a card today. I used some of the methods from your videos and was firm about it. They just kept saying the dock fee of 600 was non-negotiable. We hear it all the time. And I kept saying, I'm not paying it. We went back and forth on it for 10 minutes. I refused. Finally, he talked to the manager and they knocked off 500 bucks off the price of the car. Thanks for saving me $500. Your videos gave me confidence to wait them out. Wheel Deal writes, I spend hours test driving two different Santa Fe models. After a couple back and forth with my salesperson, her boss claims that he couldn't budge anymore off their price. She thought she had me on the line, but I gathered up my stuff and thanked her boss for her time. Her boss caught me in the parking lot with the, if you buy today only price that was $4,000 lower. Told him I'd think about it. And thanks for showing your cards. She called me four more times over the course of the day, and I ended up going back to the dealership the following day to purchase the car at the new lower price. What did I learn from this process? Don't be afraid to walk. And of course, stick to your guns. Great channel, I subbed. Nirav writes, my cousin wanted to buy a Subaru and was going to the same dealership I had bought mine from. We watched a whole bunch of your videos first, and a week later, it was game on with the dealer. My cousin focused solely on the card he was interested in and then first negotiated the price, followed by getting rid of the high price documentation fee and other fees. That's the way you do it, guys. When the salesman locked in the final price for the car itself and asked for his social security number for finance, he said, I'm paying cash. The finance guy tried talking him into financing, claiming it would be a better option, but he remained firm on paying cash. Finally, after almost two additional hours, he got the outback at the price they had originally negotiated for. Great help from your videos, Kevin. Double thumbs up. Let me close with this. Jim Alden is a former finance officer. He writes, it's a different world in the 2020s. I used to do all of my haggling at the dealership like everyone else. But in today's time, I know exactly what the car can sell for. And that means what the out the door price should be. I negotiate over the phone and tell them, this is the deal that I have elsewhere. But if you can match it, you're closer. I'll go with you. If not, then have a great day. Got my last two vehicles this way and paid rock bottom price. The important thing is to always negotiate the out the door price, which should include taxes. Of course, that's everything. In today's times, I would never enter a dealership and start negotiations there. Never. I hope I've convinced you. Do your research first. Know what you want. Start your negotiations from home and stick to your guns. Never ever back down from what you know is right. Well, I think my work here is done. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, changing the car business one smart car buyer at a time. And I hope that's you. See you guys on our next video. You guys rock. <laughs>